So today we will learn how to upload a code to the 8051 microcontroller using the USB ASP programmer. Okay. So here on the screen, you can see that I have already made the connections for the 8051 microcontroller with the USB ASP programmer. So yeah, this is the USB ASP programmer. Uh, the connections with the 8051 Obviously, I will explain to you in detail, but before that, there are a few prerequisites in terms of software. So we need to download a few softwares. So let's just go with that. And then we will come to the hardware connections and then we will try to upload a code as well. Okay. So let's just do all of that one by one. So firstly, on your computer screen, uh, just open Chrome or any web browser and go to uh, Google or just randomly search on any uh, search engine prog isp okay so you just search prog isp and you can just mention prog isp download and it should give you a result where yeah if you can see the prog isp software is there and also this is there uh, i see this uh, github link is there so let's just uh, try to use this github link Now, once this GitHub links open, we just need to find the software and download it. Now, here you can see there are a lot of things here. Driver is there, PCB is there, PDF software is there. Now, either it should be in program or software. So let's just go into program. And here there are, no, the, it's not in here. So let's just go to software. And here, if you can see, there is this prog ISP zip file. So we have to click on this and we need to download this. Right now I have clicked on this and if you can see right now the link has changed to this zip file. You can just simply click on this download raw file and it should give you the option to download it. Now once you download it, there's no installation or anything that you have to do. You just have to unzip this zip file and uh, you can simply just open it. Right now I'm not downloading it because I already have it downloaded. Okay. So just unzip the file, uh, zip file folder, and then you will get a prog isp.exe file. You just have to open it and uh, use it for programming the 8051. Now, another thing that you need to do is you need to uh, download a software which will help you install the driver. So in Chrome, uh, now search for this software called Zadig and just write Zadig download. I have done this previously. So if you see my, in my uh, browser, it automatically appears. And I'll just click on this and roll down. And just click on this Zedic 2.9 and uh, automatically it will start downloading. Uh, if not, then you just have to click on save and it will start. Okay. So you need two of these softwares. After that, the downloading, uh, after downloading these two softwares, we will be able to upload the code. And obviously, the third software, if in case you do not have it, uh, you have to install Kale doc software. Uh, if in case you do not know how to install Kale, we already have videos on our channel using that. But if not, then just search for Kale Uvision 5 download. And here you can go to Kale downloads. Obviously here they will ask a few credentials or you, they will ask you to log in and then uh, you will have, you will be able to download it. But here you just have to go to this product downloads and click on this C51. Then only you will be able to download it. So this C51 version is for the 8051. Now I have all of these uh, previously downloaded. So I don't need to do anything here. Uh, once you enter all these details here, uh, just click on, just enter all these details and then click on submit and you will be able to download it. Okay. And once it is downloaded, you need to follow a simple installation step like you install any software. And once that is done, let's do the programming part. Let's start programming the 8051. Now, if you remember, I already mentioned that we have the hardware for the USB ASP and the uh, 8051 microcontroller already connected, right? So now let me try to zoom in and show you the connections more better.
Okay, so here, if you can see in this USB ASP, these are the following pins that we will be using MOSI pin, then the RST pin is there, SCK is there, MISO pin is there, NC simply means no connection, so we don't use that. And if you just turn this around, there are two more pins. One is the VCC, which is the topmost pin, and the bottommost pin is ground GND. Okay, so these six pins we will be using for our connections with the 8051 programmer. Now, the 8051 programmer, which I am using right now, is the 8089S52. I'm not sure this will be visible to you. I will try to show you if it is possible. Okay. So I am using 8089S52 programmer, uh, sorry, microcontroller. And the connections I have already made, but I will explain uh, the connections to you. So uh, also on the screen, you will be able to see a diagram which will help you to make the connections more easily. So here, if you see this VCC goes to the VCC pin of the 8051, which is the 40th pin. Okay. So pin number 40 is connected to this VCC. And there is this ground, which is this yellow wire is connected to here. Uh, which is the negative pin on this breadboard, which is the ground terminal, which I am using. Okay. Now, further, this ground line is also connected to pin number 20 of this 8051 microcontroller. If you can see this ground wire. Okay. And after that, there are four more pins. Let's check them one by one. The first one was MOSI, which is this orange wire. This orange wire goes to here, the pin number six of this 8051 microcontroller. Remember, it is pin number six, not uh, port zero is pin number six. It is pin number six from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six pin is our MOSI MOSI pin. Okay. And then next term is MISO pin. Okay. MISO pin. Here, this pin is uh, will go just next to the MOSI pin. So after this six pin, we will go into the seventh uh, pin and connect the MISO pin that we got here from this USB ASP which was this brown wire, okay? So this brown is connected here. Then comes the SCK, which we connect from here, SCK to the next pin, which is the six, seven and eighth pin, okay? And then on the ninth pin, we connect the reset, which is connected here, the reset, okay? RST pin. So these are the, the six pin connections that we have with the USB ASP. Now, apart from that, there are a few more connections on the 8051 microcontroller itself. So let's just look at those as well. So there is one more pin which is uh, connected between the VCC and the 31st pin. So this will help us the, uh, to program and store the program in the 8051. So which is why we have connected the 31st pin with the 40th pin, which is the VCC. And also there is this 18th and 19th pin, which I have connected with the crystal oscillator. And further, these two pins, uh, the each pin of the crystal oscillator is connected to a 22 picofarad uh, capacitor, which is connected to ground. Okay, so these are the connections that we have to make to make sure that we can upload the code on our 8051 microcontroller. Okay, so once uh, these connections are made, we will go back to our software. Firstly, uh, make sure that you have all of this and you do not change any jumpers here. There is this jumper for 5 volt and 3.3 volt. Right now, we don't make any changes. I have already connected it to 5 volt. So let's not make any changes and then plug it in your laptop. So I will do that. Now we have connected the USB ASP with our computer. Now what we have to do is we have to firstly figure out the softwares and then we will upload the code. Okay. So firstly, if you remember, we downloaded two uh, softwares. The prog ISP was there. So right now I have unzipped this zip file. So if you want to know how to unzip a file, just find the zip file folder. Let's say where it is. Uh, let me just show you how to do that. Uh, I think it is here. Yeah. So here it is. So just right click. And after that, you will get an option to unzip it. So here, if you can see this extract option is there. So let's click on extract here or extract to prog ISP this 
folder so it will create a new folder with this name and uh, all add all the files in this folder okay so i just did that and if you can see here i already have this folder here so open this folder once it is unzipped and then here you here you can see there are various uh, files now we need to uh, we need to open this for programming so here just double click on this and it will open the software using which you can program the usb asp okay so once you click on this uh yeah here you can see this thing has opened so this thing has opened and for you it won't be uh, this thing will not be this chip will not be directly visible so we'll have to search it from here just simply search 8089s52 or whatever microcontroller you are using right now i'm using 8089s52 which is my version of uh, 8051 if in case you are using 8089c51 or s51 or any other controller then just select that okay once that is done obviously one more thing we have uh, not done yet uh make sure you will have to we we need to make sure that we have to do that okay so this is this part right now uh apart from that what else we have to do is we need to make sure that we uh enable these three uh tick marks for uh we enable these three options uh, which is this chip erase program flash and verify flash okay so these three should be enabled okay once the, uh, this is done you have to uh you can just erase and uh, click on auto then it will uh, program it but before that it would right now it would give you error or it would not detect the uh, usb sp because we need to install its driver so to install its driver what we have to do is we have to uh, open the zedig software which we downloaded so go back to your downloads and i have it downloaded here so i'll just search for z and if you can see this zedig is there so just double click on that then click on yes so once you open it this is how the software will look like and it will show you uh it will take a few seconds to load or maybe one or two minutes as well sometimes and then it will show you if it detect if it has detected any device okay and uh, once it detects it then uh, you will just have to install the driver if in case the driver is also already installed then it is well and good but if not but if the driver is not installed we have to follow these steps okay so here you will see all the devices right now let me just remove this uh, usb asp and replug it in okay so now i have reconnected the usb asp device but still on this zadic software you can see there are no devices found okay uh, so in such scenarios what would you do so there is one simple option that you need to check firstly just go to this options button uh, options button in this menu and just click on this list all devices okay so from here you can see there are multiple devices listed here and we have this usb asp so just select that and then for me the driver is already installed so it is showing the current driver but for you it won't be uh, like this won't be the driver that is installed which is the driver that we need to install so what you have to do is uh, there are multiple driver options here so you just have to go through them one by one and then select this lib usb from that okay so there are also two if you can see here there are two lib usb options here we have to select this one which is lib usb win32 driver okay and then after selecting this just click on this install driver option for me it is showing reinstall driver because it is already installed okay so just click on this install driver option and within one or two minutes uh, it will be installed and once this driver is installed we can go back to our prog isp software to flash the 8051 microcontroller and here as we already discussed we have to select this 8089s52 and then the most imp important thing is you have to select the hex file okay so go to file and click on load fresh so once you click on load fresh it will give you the option to select the hex file and uh, wherever your project hex file has been stored you just have to go there and select it so right now i have already uh, selected it previously so it has uh, taken me it has it is taking me to the same folder and i can just select the same hex file and i will click on open okay so once you click on open it will uh, it will give you this message which is load flash 
so and so directory and the hex file has been loaded okay so this was successful now ignore these messages because right now before shooting this video uh, i just tried uploading the code once and it was successful so if you can see these three commands were there first was this load flash then second was chip erase successfully and third was uh, erase write flash and verify flash okay so these are the three steps that we need to follow firstly we need to load flash file uh, which is the load, load the hex file so we just did that right now then what we need to do is we need to erase so i have connected the uh, hardware with my system so i'll just click on this erase and right now what we'll see is here here a message will appear which will mention chip erase successfully so here if you can see this chip erase successfully message has appeared okay and then what you have to do is click on auto and it will program your device so i will click on auto okay and if you can see here it just gave us the message that this was successfully done okay so this is how you will program your 8051 microcontroller using the asp usb asp programmer okay